my name is Matt Smith. I'm a composer, producer, and multi-instrumentalist based in Los Angeles, California, and like many people in my profession, I have been under the impression for many years that the ringing and occasional sensation of pressure that I experience in my ears was pronounced tinnitus because my community actually knows so little about this problem that we don't know how to pronounce it correctly. It's pronounced tinnitus, by the way. Just pretend you're British and you'll nail it. As good as the education that I received was, it did not include a ton of information about the hazards of spending the majority of your working hours in the presence of loudspeakers and loud instruments. So thankfully I caught this at a young enough age to not permanently damage myself to the point that I can no longer enjoy the art that I have dedicated my life to. So now I wear these things, <laughs> earplugs, on a regular basis, um, sometimes even when I practice, but certainly if I'm ever at a concert. Two things that can dramatically increase your risk for hearing damages. One is the proximity of the sound source to your ear. So earbuds turned up loud can definitely damage your ears. Um, and also just the amount of time that you're exposed to even sounds that aren't terribly loud. One of the things that I think it's really important for musicians to be aware of specifically is that there are several kinds of earplugs. I think most of us have had the experience of using the foam ones, which can really inhibit your ability to enjoy things properly because they'll tend to attenuate high frequencies. Um, but you can actually get earplugs that will not give you that problem. They just kind of turn the volume down on everything so you can hear all the detail that you want to hear without having to uncover your ears and potentially damage them. I think what excites me about music the most is that I feel like when I make my own music or when I help other people realize the vision that they have of their music, it feels in some way like I'm participating in the same stream of history that all of my favorite music came from. The genre doesn't matter at all. It could be hip-hop, it could be EDM, it could be rock. If I happen to be producing a rock band, then I feel like I'm in a way sort of calling up the spirit of like Zeppelin and Hendrix and Pink Floyd and all of this music that so many of us are so passionate about. If you happen to be a classically trained musician and you're learning the music of a composer like Brahms or Tchaikovsky, it's really genuinely exhilarating to have those sounds pass through yourself. It's not about emulating, it's about participating. You feel like you're contributing to some kind of grand historical narrative and that's incredibly gratifying and exciting.